Hello, Live Lung community, and happy 2024. Things are not slowing down at all in the lung cancer advocacy space. We did take a few days off for the holidays, but we're right back at it now. I'm going to share a little bit about December activities and then take a look at January and beyond. In December, I had the opportunity to present on lung cancer stigma during the American Cancer Society's National Lung Cancer Roundtables annual conference, which Lynn and I both attended. It was awesome. Live Long received a Community Impact Award from Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist for a community outreach program for lung cancer screening. We're excited about sharing screening information with people at high risk. Many of you joined us for the first annual Live Long virtual New Year's Eve pre-party. We had record attendance and Lynn created and sent out 60 party boxes to participants for the event. Thank you for joining us. Now in January and upcoming beyond January, Live Long is growing in every way. We have some new team members and I might add, not a moment too soon. Jessica Hughes is our marketing director and Sinead McLeod Clements, yes, she's Len's daughter. She's our operations and marketing associate. Our marketing team is in the midst of rebranding and creating a new website in the first quarter of 2024, so stay tuned. We're also very excited to be working on a project with WebMD this month. WebMD is creating a video with two of our North Carolina lung cancer folks, Pam Bono and Elizabeth Spate. Now, as we've mentioned before, we're working on live lung expansions into the Fort Myers, Florida area and into Georgia, into several locations in Georgia, Albany, Augusta, and Roswell, as well as Pennsylvania, Hershey, Pennsylvania area. So our plans are to launch the first meeting in Florida and Georgia during the first quarter of 2024. Okay, now we've got a few announcements here for the small cell lung cancer folks. A reminder that we're hosting the Small Cell Lung Cancer Summit April 16th and 17th in Raleigh, North Carolina. We've already got several of you registered, so thanks for that. But if you're interested in attending, go ahead and register before we get filled up. And another Small Cell Lung Cancer Program is the Small Cell Lung Cancer Advocacy Training Program. Watch this space as we develop those details and nail down some dates. Now, other activities we're involved with is the International Association for the Study of Lung Cancer Targeted Therapies Conference in San Diego in February. And big news, Lynn will be presenting two posters during the National Comprehensive Cancer Network Conference in Orlando in April. Plus, we will have a booth at the NCCN conference. The peer-reviewed poster sessions will focus on our small cell lung cancer group and our Hope Totes program. Speaking of the Hope Totes program, congratulations to this month's Hope Tote hero, Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist Thoracic Oncology Nurse Navigator, Lisa Flowers. Lisa has been sharing our Hope Totes with lung cancer patients for the past six years. Last year, she gave out 230 Hope Totes. So thank you, Lisa, for all you do for lung cancer patients. Now, here are a few other events you may want to have on your radar. A lot of folks don't hear about them until it's too late to register, so save these dates. Patient Advocate Scholarship from Conquer Cancer Foundation is to attend ASCO in Chicago on May 31st to June 4th. Applications are accepted March 11th at noon through March 18th. That's a very narrow window of opportunity, so please, if you're interested in going, get your application in. It's very important to get it in soon, sooner rather than later. Now the GoTo Foundation's Voices Summit in Washington, D.C. will be March the 3rd to the 5th. Travel scholarships are available. Deadline to apply for the scholarship is January 31st. And Longevity's Hope Summit is in Atlanta this year. May 3rd to the 5th. Travel grants are available for first-time attendees. So there's a lot going on as you can see. I wanted to just share another personal note. As many of you know, I lost my husband Christmas morning. I wanted to thank everyone for the kind words and the prayers and the cards and other acts of kindness. Your love has been received and is why I'm doing so well. So thank you. Now let's kick more lung cancer in 2024. Peace to you all. Thank you. Bye.